Apple recently announced their next version of iPhone's operating system to be released this fall called iOS 26, named after the year following its release, which will be 2026. The most noticeable change in this update is the interface. It's the first major redesign since iOS 7, with Apple creating a new material they call liquid glass that's been applied to almost every element of the user interface, including icons that shimmer and respond to iPhone's movement and can be made transparent to keep the focus on your wallpaper photo. The lock screen even refracts light, causing a rainbow effect at the edge as it moves upward. But there's a lot more to iOS 26 than liquid glass, like a redesigned tab bar that collapses as you scroll down to make more room for your content and expands when you scroll back up. Its functionality has also changed. Previously, when making a selection, you couldn't change your mind mid-tap. Now you can. When touching a tab, a piece of glass appears under your finger that can be dropped on any tab at any time. Apple also added a clear customization option for app icons and widgets that you can choose to be light for additional transparency or dark for better legibility. The lock screen now features a dynamic clock that automatically resizes depending on how much space is available, so you can enjoy a stylized lock screen without sacrificing visibility when scrolling through notifications. Image Playground now has more customizable Genmoji and new ChatGPT image styles, including oil painting, watercolor, vector, anime, and print. When playing songs in Apple Music, animated artwork can be displayed on the lock screen. There will also be a developer API that allows third-party music apps like Spotify to do the same thing, but it'd be up to those companies to support the feature. And Apple's finally fixed the photo app by reintroducing tabs. Instead of having all your photos and collections in one sprawling layout that took forever to scroll through, you can now switch between your photo library or collections with just a tap, making it much faster to get to where you want. There's also a new spatial scene button that applies a depth effect to your images, which can even be used on the lock screen. Websites in Safari are now displayed edge to edge as the floating controls shrink as you scroll down. You can also customize Safari's layout and settings, choosing between compact, bottom, and top. A redesigned camera app features a simplified interface focused on video and photo mode, while swiping left to right reveals additional modes. Swiping up displays a control panel with all other functionality like flash and exposure. During a FaceTime call, speech can now be translated live, allowing you to have multilingual conversations on the fly. This functionality has also been added to regular voice calls and text conversations in messages. Visual intelligence has been integrated into screenshots, letting you look up something you see on your screen, like a lamp that you might like for your own home. Call screening automatically asks unknown callers to identify themselves so that you'll know whether you want to answer the call or not. For times when you're stuck on hold, Call Hold Assist lets you do other things with your phone while waiting. Then it notifies you once a live agent is available. The phone app itself has a new unified layout that users can choose as an alternative to the classic layout. Apple is finally making it possible to create custom ringtones without GarageBand, although they're about 15 years late because no one really uses them anymore. But if you'd like, just open the Files app, choose an MP4 or M4A file that's 30 seconds or less, tap Share, More, and Use as Ringtone. Then it'll appear as an option in your ringtones list. Text messages from unknown senders can now be filtered out of your conversations list, instead appearing in a dedicated folder where they can be marked as known or deleted entirely. These unknown messages will remain silenced until you accept them. In group chats, you can now create polls to quickly make decisions, see typing indicators so you know who's about to respond, and transfer Apple cash. And the backgrounds of conversations can now be customized, by choosing a photo of your own, something generated by Image Playground, or a pre-made animation like the sky or water. And you can now select text inside of message bubbles, making it easy to copy specific addresses or dates. Lyric translation in Apple Music helps you understand the words to your favorite songs by displaying a translation beneath the original lyrics, while lyric pronunciation lets you sing along to songs in any language, including Korean and Japanese, by providing a romanized phonetic spelling alongside the original lyrics. Sing in Apple Music is a new karaoke mode that lets you use your iPhone as a microphone as song lyrics appear on Apple TV. While Auto Mix, my personal favorite feature, 
uses Apple intelligence to seamlessly transition one song into another in Apple Music. It's like having a virtual DJ and makes the listening experience much more satisfying. Pinned content in Apple Music lets you pin playlists, albums, and artists at the top of your library, letting you quickly access your favorite music. While playlist folders let you put multiple playlists in a single place, making it easier to keep organized and find the playlist you're looking for. Apple Music Replay can finally be accessed inside the app instead of being forced to go through an internet browser. And with your permission, Apple Maps can detect and save the places that you visit, like restaurants or stores. So if you forget where you had a great meal, you can easily go back and see where you've been. If you prefer to go a certain route to a destination that Apple Maps doesn't suggest, it'll now learn from your behavior and adjust its directions in the future to match your preferences. While the Maps widget now shows a preview of the route you're most likely to request depending on the time of day. Redesigned boarding passes now support live activities and display relevant information all on one page, like directions to the airport terminal and a shortcut to track your luggage in the Find My app. A new pre-installed native app called Games lets you explore all game-related content on iPhone in one place. You can discover new games, find in-game events, and compete with friends by taking on challenges. Parental control enhancements across communication limits, communication safety, and the App Store add parental controls for contact requests from kids, in addition to blurring out sensitive content in FaceTime calls and photos in shared albums. You can now use your US passport to create a digital ID and wallet. It can be used at TSA checkpoints, in apps, and in person. Although this digital ID is not a replacement for a physical passport and cannot be used for international travel and border crossing. Custom plans in Apple Fitness Plus let you follow a personalized exercise schedule, automatically creating plans based on your workout and meditation preferences, including your top activities, durations, trainers, music, and more. To keep you motivated, Stay Consistent provides a pre-made schedule of activities that match your current routine. With Push Further, you'll receive a plan that increases the time of each day's workout sessions or even adds another day, making it a convenient way to continually improve your fitness. A new emoji game in Apple News Plus challenges players to use emoji to complete three phrases, with a goal of solving it in as few moves as possible. Users can share puzzles, track stats and streaks, and compete with others through leaderboards. Apple Intelligence has been integrated into the Wallet app to enable enhanced order tracking, which can automatically identify, summarize, and display order tracking details from emails sent from merchants or delivery carriers. That way, you can see full order details and progress notifications all in one place. Apple Pay enhancements allow card rewards and installment loans to be used in person for the first time when using Apple Pay with iPhone. Apple Podcasts has more customization options. There's a wider range of playback speeds from 0.5 to 3 times, plus enhanced dialogue, which lets you hear speech more clearly over background sounds. The preview app that's been on macOS for decades is finally coming to iPhone, allowing you to scan multiple pages of a document, edit PDFs, and annotate images quicker than ever before. If you use multiple phone numbers on one device, a new focus mode filter lets you silence individual SIM cards, helpful if you want to allow work calls while keeping personal calls from coming through or vice versa. If you tend to go to bed while listening to your AirPods, they can now detect when you've fallen asleep and automatically pause what you're listening to, which not only saves battery, but prevents the audio from disturbing your sleep. And speaking of sleeping, Apple's finally let us change the default snooze timer. Instead of the standard 9 minutes, you can choose any amount of time between 1 to 15 minutes. So it's not complete freedom, but still much better than before. Now, if you've ever had your AirPods in and couldn't hear someone calling your name, you might want to enable voice detection. With it, your iPhone can be taught to recognize your name when someone else says it and notify you when it's heard. If you have AirPods 4 or AirPods Pro 2, you can turn on beta firmware and settings to access those updates before they go public. You can also use those same AirPods models to begin video recording in the camera app by pressing and holding the stem. In addition to the previous notifications that let you know when your AirPods are low on battery, you'll also be notified when they're fully charged, helpful if you want to use that cable to start charging another device. And if you've ever turned on your car and music just started blasting through the speakers, 
You can now stop that from happening with a new setting toggle called Keep Audio in Headphones under AirPlay and Continuity, which keeps audio from automatically switching from your headphones to a new device like a car or Bluetooth speakers. And if you like to keep your iPhone on low power mode all the time, Apple's added a new adaptive power mode to optimize the experience. If you have a lot of battery and it isn't draining quickly, adaptive power won't make any adjustments. But once the battery begins dropping faster than usual, iPhone will begin lowering the display brightness or slowing certain background tasks to compensate. And once the battery drops to 20%, it'll automatically switch to low power mode to extend battery life as much as possible. While plugged into power, iPhone will temporarily show you how much time it'll take to fully charge. If you want to check how much time is left while it's in use, you can also find it in battery settings. Under audio and visual accessibility settings, Apple's added new background sounds that you can play as ambient noise, including babble, steam, airplane, boat, and more. Weather via satellite lets you receive the latest forecast while outside Wi-Fi or cellular range, keeping you informed of any potentially hazardous conditions while hiking or rock climbing. Apple Maps now features additional incident types. Previously, you could only report accidents, hazards, and speed checks. Now you'll find options for traffic, road work, and road closures. With personal voice enhancements, you can create a smoother, more natural sounding replication of your voice in less than a minute. Previously, this process took about 15 minutes and you had to read 150 different phrases, but now you only have to read 10. Vehicle Motion Cues has new options to reduce motion sickness, like adding more dots to the screen or making them larger. Their color can also be changed. On certain cellular networks, users can transfer their eSIM to an Android device. While it appears users on any network are able to transfer from an Android when setting up a new eSIM on iPhone. Support for a technology called Wi-Fi Aware means iPhone can now connect to other devices or accessories directly without needing to be on the same Wi-Fi network or internet connection. There's hidden code inside iOS 26 for a new feature called Captive Wi-Fi Sync, although Apple has yet to release it. It's expected to make signing in to public Wi-Fi easier by syncing captive login information across multiple Apple devices. So when you connect to airport or hotel Wi-Fi on one device, it'll automatically connect to your other devices without needing to re-enter the login details. Finally, CarPlay has received several enhancements. If you're annoyed by iPhone automatically capturing a CarPlay screenshot while in the car, you can now turn off that functionality in settings. Its interface has been updated with the same liquid glass appearance as iPhone, and you can now send tapbacks when responding to a message. In the Messages app, you can see the pinned conversations from your iPhone, while widgets are now available and can be added through iPhone's CarPlay settings. You can see them by swiping left from the home screen, letting you access the weather, your calendar events, and even control smart home accessories from the driver's seat. Live activities are also coming to CarPlay so you can track a flight or food order without picking up your iPhone. And if you're lucky enough to own an Aston Martin, you'll be one of the few people to experience CarPlay Ultra. This is something Apple teased back in 2022 and originally planned on releasing in 2024. There were delays, but now it's finally here. CarPlay Ultra is able to control vehicle functions like climate and seat heaters, access stats like tire pressure and mileage, and take over multiple screens. It basically replaces the car software with one provided by Apple. But what makes it special is that each participating manufacturer is working with Apple directly to customize the look and feel to fit their brand. Aston Martin is the first, but there will be more in the future, including Acura, Honda, Ford, Jaguar, and Porsche. So that was a quick rundown of all the new features coming to iOS 26 this fall. You can technically download it today as a beta, but it has a lot of bugs and drains battery pretty fast. So I'd recommend waiting for the stable official release in September. This is Greg with Apple Explained. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.